It's unusual. It's the first I've heard of it uh, happening at a bingo-related event or a booster club event. Our top story tonight at 5.30, just more than a year after someone tried robbing a bingo game at a Tonawanda school, police say it appears it may have happened again. This is a strange story from Cardinal O'Hara High School. Over the weekend, some cash was reported stolen from the bingo room there. News 4's Chris Horvatitz talked to Town of Tonawanda police who are still looking for a suspect. Chris? Well, that bingo room was ransacked, according to a police report I got today. Two cash drawers were found empty. You may recall last May when a 17-year-old girl was charged with robbery after another incident involving a Cardinal O'Hara, uh, Cardinal O'Hara, that is, bingo game. At this point, there's there's no way that we could draw a correlation between the two of them. Whether the two incidents almost exactly a year apart are related, Town of Tonawanda Police Lieutenant Thomas Haynes can't say. According to the police report, a woman setting up for bingo at O'Hara Sunday morning found the lock of a file cabinet had been broken, the drawers scattered on the floor, what was in them tossed and scattered. Police have already looked at school security footage. It does fall under the Catholic diocese, which leaves me a bit more skeptical how someone could do that in good conscience. In the May 2017 incident, police say a girl burst into the money room armed with a gun and demanded cash. That's when, according to officers, volunteers stepped in and took her down. During the uh, point of when she was being restrained, uh, she injured several of the parties, so that brought forth more, more, uh, more charges. Police filed 15 charges against her. As for the most recent incident, Cardinal O'Hara released this statement, saying Cardinal O'Hara High School is cooperating with Town of Tonawanda Police regarding the recent incident at the school. We have security measures in place and cannot comment further during this ongoing investigation. There are people out there in the world that are going to look to um, prey upon um, what they perceive to be a weak target. So anything you can do to strengthen your position and prevent that from happening is a good thing. Police aren't saying exactly how much money was taken over the weekend, but the police report that I found today lists grand larceny in the third degree as one of the crimes committed. Now, based on state law, that indicates that at least $3,000 were taken. Chris Horvath, it's News 4.